Hey guys, Seb here, and today I am just making a quick tutorial video for Roll20 that shows you how to use the attacks and spellcasting section of your character sheet to create a macro that can play a GIF, create a sound effect, and track ammo when you use that particular attack or spellcasting feature in game. So, let's get into it. Now, in order to achieve this, you'll need to be either a plus or pro subscriber on Roll20. You also need to be the GM of the game and to have the following APIs utilized, Roll20 Audio Master and Ammo. To get these APIs, it's quite simple. Step one, go to the main page of Roll20. Step two, go to the details page of your game. Step three, from the settings tab, go to API scripts. Step four, Go to script library and find the desired API scripts. In this case, we want audio master and ammo. Find these scripts, select it, and click on add script. Give the script a minute to fire up, and now you are good to go. Now, for this tutorial, we are using the Rule 20 OGL D&D 5th edition character sheet. Open up your character sheet. In the attacks and spellcasting section, where you make your attacks, you create a new attack. For this example, we are using the grenade pistol. The last section of the attack will contain the subsection description. This is what we will be using to make the magic happen. Firstly, we want to enter a GIF. Finding GIFs online is really simple, and I'll leave a link to a GIF site in the description. You need to make sure the GIF ends in .gif, otherwise the GIF will not work in Roll20. Once you have the GIF link, put in any random word contained within square brackets before the GIF, it can literally be any word, such as dog, lasagna, or your favorite moody title. It really doesn't matter what word you enter in these square closed brackets. Then, in closed rounded brackets, enter your GIF afterwards, like this. Okay, and that is your GIF sorted. It'll come up whenever you use the attack in the chat box, and after you enter that GIF in your description, add a double parentheses. That's these kind of brackets. This has nothing to do with the GIF, and we'll come back to that soon. Now, for the sound effects, there's a couple more steps involved. Firstly, you need to find your track from the Roll20 jukebox. This can be whatever you want. For this example, we have used an explosion sound effect to emulate our grenade launcher being fired. Add this track to the jukebox and rename it to something simple. I called mine Grenade Pistol. Now, please take note that this name is case sensitive. Also, make sure you don't have an additional space after the track. It needs to match exactly the one that you put into the macro. Now, we need to get into Roll20's audio API settings. Simply enter this into your chat box. You'll find all the macros needed in the description below. When you enter that macro, you'll gain access to the menu for Roll20 Audio. First, click on Import Jukebox. This will add all of your tracks to the Audio Master. Now, click on Tracks to bring up a complete list of all, every audio track that you have in your jukebox. Find your track and click the little padlock icon and have it set to Unlocked. This will give access to your players to use the audio track if you want them to be able to activate the sound effects from their attacks too. You can also adjust the volume of the track here. Be sure that the volume is at an acceptable level because you'll need to access this menu again if you want to change it. Changing it in the jukebox will not adjust the volume. Now, before we go any further, I'd just like to stop for a second and ask you to like the video afterwards if you have enjoyed it so far and to subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more D&D related videos. Now, go back to your attack description and enter this in the next line of the description. You now need to enter the name of your audio track after the no menu part of the macro. Remember the parenthesis from earlier? These will tell the attack to read the macro, but we're not done yet. To close this action, you now need to place an exclamation mark on the next line down. Be sure to have your macros separated in each individual line as I have shown you here. Now you have the GIF and sound effect. Finally, for ammo, you want to do a couple more things. 
Open your character sheet and then select the Attributes and Abilities tab. Click on the Add icon for the attributes and now enter the name of the ammo that you want. We will call this one Bullet. Be sure to enter values in each box. The number on your right will be the maximum amount of ammo and the number on the left will be the current amount of ammo. For this example, we will have a max ammo of 30 and a current ammo of 20. Now go back to our beautiful macro and enter this into the next line of your macros. The first word bullet here dictates what attribute will be reduced. In this case, we have bullet. The second one simply describes the ammo being used. Now it will keep track of your ammo automatically. You can even set the bars of your tokens to link up to the attribute section. So we should be all set. I hope this video was very informative and helped you achieve your desired results. Be sure to drop a like and subscribe to my channel. Please leave a comment in the comment section below if you have any questions at all and what sort of other tutorials you'd like to see that are related to d or Roll20. If you have any questions about this particular video, please leave a question in the comment section and I'll answer as soon as I can. Thank you guys very much and I'll see you next time.